In the Security Council of the United Nations, Britain's Sir Gladwin Jebb attacks communism as Mr. Malik listens. Having now been, most of them, brought up from infancy on a doctrine of state infallibility, it seems almost impossible for any member of the government of the Soviet Union to believe that that government could in any circumstances be wrong. And indeed, for any member of the Soviet Union not to believe that his government is always, as it were, divinely inspired. Faced with this situation, the rulers of North Korea decided that their brethren of the South must be given a lesson. The existence of a free regime on their very doorstep was naturally anathema to them. They planned a crime, which in the circumstances it is true, could hardly have been carried out undetected, but which they thought they could get away with because the policeman's back was turned. However, the policeman, though perhaps somewhat of his guard, was not indifferent. Though jumped on, he blew his whistle, and a number of policemen are now coming to his aid. The argument that all the policemen ought now to be called off, leaving the victim to the tender mercies of the attacker, is not one which is likely to find much favor, if only for the fact that if this were done, it would be only too likely that the incident would soon be repeated and that Asia would once again be the scene of the crime.